yet another stellar idea. You really do have some extraordinary things going on in these custom homes. Yes, we do, and it's time now to talk about our third builder. Oh, Bella Custom Homes. Yes, Tony Visconti. What a charmer, and you'll get to meet his partner and his interior designer all wrapped into one. Thank you, John, thank you, Joss. We're so proud here at Bella Custom Homes to be part of At Home in the Hills of Kingswood. And today, I would like to talk to you about our design characteristics when we build a home. And most importantly, I have to introduce Stacy. Stacy is not only our vice president, but she is our lead interior designer on all our homes. Thank you, Tony. Tony and I personally work with our clients at The Architect to design their new home. Mm -hmm. We pay great attention to scale and proportion, to the light coming into the rooms and the functionalities of the space. Our clients are tending towards less formal spaces. That might mean a larger family room and no formal living room, maybe a larger breakfast nook and a smaller dining room. Our clients are also loving large master closets. And I see this house is also designed by Lloyd Lumpkin, one of the architects that we like to use quite a bit, isn't it? Yes, we love Lloyd and we're uh -huh. excited about this next home at the Hills of Kingswood. At Bella Custom Homes, we strive to make the building process an enjoyable one. All of our clients get a design notebook with a detailed set of specifications so they know everything that's going into their home. So we make everything very user friendly. All of our clients also get a selection schedule that's in chronological order and color coded by phases. So it's Excellent. pretty easy to follow. Can you give me an idea how you put your stuff together, Stacey? Yes, I brought some samples with me today. Uh -huh. And a lot of our clients are liking the white marbles, the creamy limestones the gray and charcoal stones. We're seeing a lot of the quartzite in the kitchens. Uh, lighter, brighter, fresher colors. Gray tones, light blues. Colors that evoke the sense of atmosphere. Let's talk about trends. I see you have light colors here and I see you also have some old stuff over here. Yes, we're seeing a mix of classical elements mixed with modern. You might see a gray tone, more of a modern color, but still a distressed finish. We're also using more gray tones in our media rooms. Uh -huh. uh, we are also using the mixed metals. You might see champagne mixed with bronze, a nickel, a gold. Uh, if it's got a sheen, it works. Also like playing with texture, and a great way to do that is mosaics. Mosaics are your friend, as you oh, always yes, say. Yes, they are, aren't they? <laughs> Now this seems like a lot to go through, but it's pretty, pretty easy process. It's a great enjoyable process and I think that your client still being your friend when you're done is mm -hmm. a great testament to that. I think so and the fact that some of them come back for second homes yes. is also a nice step. And even thirds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be a wonderful project and a beautiful home to build there. What's your feeling, Stacey? I'm excited about incorporating some of these new trends into our new show home in the hills of Kingswood. Me too. I think it'll be a fun project and a beautiful home. Yes. 